Welcome back for another video tutorial brought to you by GraphicDesignerTips.com. Uh, what we're going to speak about in this tutorial today uh, is how to use the eyedropper tool in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, it's actually a very basic, very simple tool, so we're going to go through it real quickly. Uh, what the eyedropper can really do for you is it can you can um, sample colors or um, other uh, I guess styling elements uh, within like text um, and you can actually apply them to new elements that you're doing so for instance uh, if we look on the screen and we select this word eyedropper uh, it is text elements it's, it's not outlined yet but we can actually come to the eyedropper tool and we can select it and we can click, and I'm not going to highlight this text so you can kind of see it, but we click anywhere in here in this picture. Uh, so if we click on the skin, you're going to see it's going to sample that. And as we click through, obviously there's many different uh, shades of that color. All right. And we can sample any color in here. And say you're trying to find out the, uh, the exact what the color is made up of. Uh, you can come in here and get your number for the color or you can see your CMYK values. This is 100% cyan and 85% magenta. Uh, no yellow and no black. So uh, we're going to leave it at that color you know, for right now and um, we can also do that as if these were outlined. Um, I just went to uh, type and create outlines and it's going to be the same deal. Uh, but now if you wanted to you could even actually put a gradient in here. Um, you know, eyedropper tool is really cool. Like for instance, if you have, if you're designing like a, an advertisement for somebody and, and maybe, uh, you know, uh, the logo is a certain, maybe the logo, you know, uh, has this type of blue on it. So now you want all your text elements to, you know, uh, you want to keep a lot of continuity by using the same color. So all you can do is sample that color and now you can write your paragraphs or your headings and stuff like that with that color. Um, in this case, what I would do is to make this all flow really nicely. Uh, if I had a you know a body of text, just write the word text here. All right, hold on. If I had a body of text, maybe myriad Roman. You know, it'll look nice as if the headline is, you know, that blue. And then now the black, leave it black because it also matches his picture, uh, the guy with the black shirt on. So um, I'm not going to style this whole body of text, but just so you kind of, you know, see how to break up things with colors. You can even do some elements in there that might even, if you have other headlines, you can even break them up and maybe make them a color like this. I mean, this still looks nice. Um, you know, you could even, uh, let's sample this. What you want to do is, so you don't lose your colors, you always sample, you sample your colors and pull them right into your swatches palette. All right, so now I got this guy. I'm going to drag this over into the swatches. And now I can style this text on the stroke right here. I can pull this over into my stroke. And da, 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 make my stroke a little bit thicker. So that's another cool thing you can do with that. But that's the eyedropper with, uh, you know, utilizing it with images. Um, another way to use the eyedropper, and this is actually pretty cool. Um, I'm going to go back to where my text was actual text. I'm going to go back a little bit. It's outlined, outlined. All right, here we go. So now we got an actual text element. And I'm going to change this to Times New Roman. Now, say I have this word eyedropper, Times New Roman. Uh, I'll change it to another word just so you guys know headline uh, this eyedropper is impact it's at 365 points because I'm zoomed in very uh, oh no yeah I'm zoomed in a lot um, with this right here this is 191 points at times New Roman if I have my text selected here I go to the eyedropper tool which is also I on the keyboard and I select this text it's going to make it, what do you think, 191 at Times New Roman. So you can sample text as long as it's still text elements and you didn't create outlines in the shape. So that's basics on the typo uh, typography, on the uh, uh, eyedropper tool. Um, any questions, comments, uh, let me know. I'd be glad to help. Uh, you can view all these tutorials on graphicdesignertips.com. Have a good night. Thanks, guys. Peace.